Greetings everyone, I'm very happy to tell you my top builds for the new ladder on Diablo 4 following the patch 1.1. I'll give you for each class the best way to get levels and then which is the best build if you want to farm in mid game and end game. I also made an article with all the links that can be useful and you have this link just below the video. Before we start, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll start with the barb and for the leveling you have the choice between three builds. First one will wing in order to have the best DPS possible. You can also go for a berserker build in order to be a bit more balanced than the wearwing build. Lastly, if you're playing in a party, you can go for the support build which is quite cool with other members. After that, when you have your first legendary items, you can keep on a wearwing with bleeding effect which is quite strong for the mid game and end game or go for the classic version of Ota build. Lastly, if you have the Sun Armor, you can also go for the Sun Barbarian, which is quite strong. For the Druid, I will only advise to play one build for the leveling because it's quite overpowered compared to the other ones. You should play the Poison Werewolf Druid, but make sure to take the Vine Creeper with 5 points on it and 3 points in the passive, which boosts its damage. You'll see that this skill is quite broken in leveling and that basically it can kill anything. Then you can move to the Werebeer Pulverize, which is quite strong. Just be careful because the Grizzly Ultimate has been a bit nerfed. Or you can use the Poison Earth Build, which will enjoy the new aspect for the Druid. This aspect will make the Vine Creeper use Landslide and increase Earth damage to poison enemies. So in the end, it will be even stronger with this passive. Lastly, my favorite Druid build, the Storm Werewolf. You need to find the unique item, but after that, it's quite easy to grind in mid game and then late game. You have two leveling builds which are quite strong with the Necromancer first one, the Summoners, and second one, the Blood one. Both are strong and you can also play a mix of them. For example, if you play Blood Necromancer, keep your summons until you are level 25 or 30. The Blood Necromancer is also very strong if you play in Hardcore because basically you won't die during the leveling. Then you can either stay on a Summoner or a Thorn Summoner because both has been buffed with the patch or play in late game with the Blood Necromancer. I'll also make updates on the Necromancer since it will be my class for this new season. For the Sorcerer, you have two builds which are quite fine for the leveling. You can either go on Fire or on the Ice setup. Then I would advise to only go for the Arclash build because it's one of the few who didn't get hit by this new patch. Be careful, starting as a sorcerer with this current patch will be a bit harder than the other classes. I'll finish with the rug and this one is quite convenient because you can stay on the setup from the beginning till the end game. So whether you choose to play a rug poison or a melee shadow one, it will be quite fine from the beginning till the end. Thanks for watching this video, I hope that it will help you to decide which class and build you'll play in the first season and of course I wish you a very great time on this first ladder.